my dear students welcome to my english class of 6 today let me continue the chapter a different kind of school written by ev lucas in the previous class we had learned from the author that he visited a school which was entirely different from the other schools in its learning style in its teaching methods and we also learned the aim of that school what is the aim of that school to teach the children to be thoughtful to be kind and to be responsible to be friendly to be helpful and the important part of that uh, education or the important system that they are doing the is to make the children understand and appreciate the difficulties faced by the physically disabled person in each term they have lame day deaf day dumb day blind day and injured day so today let me continue this chapter now i'm going to read the chapter listen page number is 59 paragraph number 11 the blind day is of course really the worst but some of the children tell me that the dumb day is the most difficult we cannot bandage the children's mouths so they really have to exercise their will power come into the garden and see for yourself how the children feel about it here miss beam explains the order what are the feelings shared by the children after experiencing those days some might find blind is the most difficult one some might find the dumb day is the most difficult one what is the meaning of dumb the person who cannot speak do you know we cannot bandage their mouth they have to keep their will power they have to exercise their will power they have to test the strength of their will power you know at that time they will have a tendency of talking so at that time they have to keep quiet during that day during the entire day they have to keep quiet okay that is the game for them so here she says that some might find blind is a very difficult one and some might find the dumb day is the most difficult one and then she asked the other to come there into the garden and see for himself what the children feel about the game miss bean led me to one of the bandage girls here is a gentleman come to talk to you said miss bean and left us miss bean wanted the other should talk to them and he should be able to understand what are the feelings of the children during those games that is why she left him with a bandage to girl and told the girl that a gentleman came to talk to you don't you ever be i asked the girl oh no she exclaimed that would be cheating but i had no idea it was so awful to be blind you can't see a thing you feel you are going to be hit by something at the moment it's such a relief just to sit down here the other asked the girl haven't you ever thought of beeping the girl replied that oh no it would be cheating i can't do that you know one thing it's really bad to be blind you can't see a thing and every time you will have a feeling inside you that you are going to hit by something or someone and this is the feeling shared by the girl and she also said that i feel just relaxing when i sit are you helpers kind to you i ask fairly but they are not as careful as i shall be when it's my turn those that have been blind already are the best helpers it's perfectly ghastly not to see i wish you would try then the other asked about the helpers she said that they are they are uh, helping me but they are not as careful as me and those who have already played the blind day they are the best helpers because they already know what are the help needed by the blind man and what are the difficulties faced by a blind man so she also says that if she gets a chance to be a helper she will be very uh, helpful to that boy or girl blind boy or blind girl and then 
she said that it's perfectly ghastly not to say it's very awful thing that not seeing anything and i wish you would try it means that here she suggested the author to try or to play the blind day shall i lead you anywhere i asked oh yes she said let's go for a little walk only you must tell me about things i shall be so glad when today is over the other bad days can be half as bad as this having a leg tied up and hopping about on a crutch is almost fun i guess having an arm tied up is a bit more troublesome because you can't eat without help and things like that i don't think i'll mind being deaf for a day at least not much but being a uh, blind is so frightening my head aches all the time just from worrying that i'll get hurt where are we now then the other asked if she needed any help or if he could take her anywhere the girl replied that yes let's go for a walk and while they are walking she is explaining what she is feeling at that time she said that i would not mind having a deaf day or having a dumb day and having our legs tied up and walking on the crutches it's also okay and having our arms tied up and uh, it's uh, it's little bit troublesome it's having little bit difficulties because we cannot eat without others help but blind day it's very difficult it's frightening because i really feel headache now and all the time i feel that i'm going to hit by something or hit by someone so she said that according to her opinion blind day is the most difficult one where are we now in the playground i said we are walking towards the house miss beam is walking up and down the garden with a tall girl what is the girl wearing my little friend asked a blue cotton skirt and a pink blouse i think it's mili she said what color is her hair very light i said yes that's mili she is the head girl then the girl asked where the reach now the other replied that we are now in the playground then there is a conversation between the other and the girl the other said that now we are in the playground and we are walking towards a house and and now i can see miss beam is walking with a tall girl then the little friend asked about the dress of that girl and about the hair of that girl and the other said that she wears a blue cotton skirt and a pink blouse and her hair's color is very light from the things that the other said the girl recognized the girl the little friend recognized the girl and she said that it is mili she is the head girl there's an old man tying up roses i said yes that is peter he is the gardener his undress of yours old and here comes a girl with curly red hair she is on crutches that's anida she said then the other describes a man an old man who is tying up roses the girl told that it's actually peter the gardener and she also said that he is hundreds of years old actually he is not having hundreds of years old he seems to be really very old and that is why she said that he is having under years old actually she doesn't know his age and next he started to describe a girl with curly red hair and for that the girl the little girl said that that is anida she is able to recognize that girl also and so we walked down gradually i discovered that i was 10 times more thoughtful than i ever thought i could be i also realized that if i had to describe people and things to someone else it made them more interesting to me when i finally had to leave i told miss b that i was very sorry to go oh she replied then there is something in my system after all so here the author explains that by explaining or by describing the things to his little friend actually he is learning 
the art of describing so this way the children are also learning the art of describing and this is way how the learning happens the and he also understand that by describing or by explaining all those things to that little girl he becomes more thoughtful and more understanding and then uh, if we are just looking at that things and instead of that if you are describing about that things you will be very interesting and uh, uh, now the other said that it is the time to leave and here he said uh, to the uh, here to the honor of that school this miss beam that he was so sad to leave the school he felt very sorry means he was he was so sad to leave the school means that he liked that school very much and then she replied that then there is something in this system that is why you are feeling so sad to leave this school the experiments and innovations the the difference which was experienced by the other the and the different methodology applied by miss beam the all were very impressive and giving something to the children actually all those things were essential to the children to be good human beings